In this video, I'll show you how to let your customers pay via invoice in WooCommerce for free. Let's get straight into it. Here we are on our checkout page. And currently, when we scroll down to the payment methods, here we've got check payment, but we've also got invoice payment, right? And the idea is we can allow certain customers to pay via invoice, right? So this is especially great when you're servicing B2B customers. They can go ahead and place the order, set the invoice payment. How it works is in the back end, the order will automatically go to processing. So let's view it now. So they'll get an email as well to update them each stage of the journey. However, in the back end here, the admin can go ahead and enter in their invoice number. And the same invoice number, they can go ahead and enter in to their accounting software, right? Whether that's zero, whether that's QuickBooks or whatever accounting software you're using, just so everything syncs up correctly. And when we actually enter in this invoice here, when we hit update, our customers will automatically be notified that we've added this invoicing options to their order, right? And in your accounting software, you would have already sent them that invoice, right? So everything will map accordingly they'll pay for that invoice and when you can see that the invoice has been paid then you can change the status from processing and then just switch it to complete and this is all powered by the AOVUP invoice payments plugin right so you can just head over to AOVUP.com I'll leave a link in the description below you can go ahead and download this plugin for free there's no pro version it's just free all right so with that being said let's head over to our dashboard and I'll show you how to configure this all right so assuming you've downloaded the AOVUP invoice payments plugin just go ahead and upload that plugin so we go plugins add new upload and install the plugin so i've already got it uploaded and installed now we just need to navigate over to woocommerce and then settings and then payments and then all we need to do is just make sure we enable this invoice payment options here we can click manage and we can customize the description right so we can say pay with invoice you'll receive um, invoice email we can add any um, extra terms we want to add to it right so we can say something like net Okay, so that's fine. We can rename this if we want, but I think invoice payments just fine. And then, as I said, now on the front end, the user will be able to see that payment options. However, if you want to conditionally display this payment options to a certain segment of your user, then you can go ahead and use the AOV up conditional shipping and payments plugin, right? And this plugin will allow you to dynamically display certain payment options or shipping options to certain users based on certain criteria, right? So, okay, so tying it back to this invoice plugin, we could create a rule that says only display this invoice payment options to our B2B customers. Okay, so now let's actually go and do a test order and I'll show you the process, how that looks for the customer and admin. So let's quickly navigate over to our store here. We've already got our invoice payment options enabled. So let's add this to our basket go to our checkout page All right and this particular checkout is powered by our all-in-one checkout plugin so again you can download that for free over at aovup.com All right so let's scroll down now we've already got our um, invoice payment option here selected so we can click place order All right and I'll show you what the email looks like so let's navigate over to our email here all right so we can see the order's been received there's no reference of the invoice number because we haven't assigned an invoice number to this order yet so let's quickly do that in the back end so let's go dashboard and then we'll navigate over to woocommerce and then orders all right and this is the order in which we've just placed it's currently set to processing and as I said, the minute we enter in our invoice number here, right? When we hit update, the customer will automatically be notified. So let's head back over to our email. And this is the latest email. And now we can see our invoice number here. And this would obviously match the invoice that you'd send them through your accounting system, right? Once you receive the payment confirmation, then we can head back over to our order here. And then we can switch the status from processing to completed. And then we'll update this 